Ah. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. <sighs> And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? <sighs> Charlie is thinking, which looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying... I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now... This is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right. <sighs> Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. <sighs> We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm gonna go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is gonna be fine, okay? And we're gonna get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Dumet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? <sighs> Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry, it's just Charlie said. We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. I promise. No, don't. Sorry, just. Still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Dumet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole.
What happened here? I... No idea. I wonder if that groundskeeper would know where the Met went. Jamie, over here. Okay, yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? Well, so he hasn't left. What's that? Are you shitting me? 
We're trapped. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. You hear that? Yes. What is happening? Fuck. Oh. Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. It makes me feel better. Something you never seem to be able to do. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Why the hell didn't you go for it? Why didn't you tell me? Things were already starting to get tough for us. No, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. I, I guess I didn't even think of that. I... I just... Uh, what do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. You should have said all this before. I know. I'm not going through it all again. What if this time is different? Oh, come on. That's not likely, and you know it. Sorry. I guess I'm a little confused. We better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Do you think they found Dumet? Charles seems hell-bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. going around locking these doors. Dumet is a little helper in the yellow coat. Wait. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is it her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? I kind of did. 
he was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know, that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when, they, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day, and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now! Charlie! I can't hold this. Listen, you have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out! Now! Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. It's, it's not moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Matt, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask... Giz? That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really the Met. Motherfucker. What? Brick wall. Keep going. Just like Holmes. I know. I don't want to think about it. Trying to map this in my head. I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? That's what these sociopaths do. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear a creepy kid voice, too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? Charlie, come here. Let's get this open.
<laughs> We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Or off the island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, Amy! Ah! Ah. <sighs> Charlie? I know somebody was in there. I... I... can't... They gotta hear this. Wait. <sighs> Guys? Hello? Hey! Charlie? Mark? Jamie? Come on, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. Treatment for what? What the hell?
Well, fuck you, Jamie. <laughs> A whole carton this time. You trying to get on my good side or something? Yeah, I'll, uh, I think I'll save him. What, no questions? What's going on with you, Monday? Oh, you seem different. Ah! <laughs> I see that glimmer in your eye, you little devil. I can keep secrets, man. We all have them. That prosecutor is trying to get numbers out of me. Know that? Of course you know that. Numbers. They got Holmes for 27, but we know he was closer to 200, right? Can you imagine that? I wish I'd had the time to try and beat that. Sure, they know about those nice realtor ladies. They got families, after all. But the numbers the DA is asking me about? I think he knows there's some people out there, rejects, misfits, the kind of people that when you see them coming, you look the other way. Does anyone notice if they go missing? My father always told me to leave my mark on the world. I never knew what he meant by that. Not until I watched that first girl bleed out. I call it art. That's my signature on society. It's not murder. It's an aesthetic response to what this world has made me. Ask people to list serial killers, and they'll drop five, ten on you before they can think of any more. Ask them to name the detectives that caught those killers. No one is going to say a damn thing. No one knows. No one cares. No one makes movies about them. No one puts their faces on t-shirts. No one gives a shit. <laughs> I've left my mark on the world. Have you?
Jamie? I'll get them to you. This weekend. Just do it. Jamie? Aaron? You there? Uh... Hello? Can you hear me? What is happening? What? You're not safe, Aaron. How are... You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't... Just listen. Listen. There's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now. Just trust me, okay? Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Kate, check this out. What is going on? <clears throat> are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. I'm going to toast all of you. Really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. What the fuck is this? Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. Relax. So, it's a bunch of mannequins dressed like us. Weird? Yes. Cause to lose your shit? No. Okay, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? Jesus, it looks just like him. No way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer.
Jamie! Thank God! I'm so glad to see you guys. We have to get the hell out of here. Oh my God. When that wall shut, I... I'm just glad you're okay. Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Demet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are you of the fucking lake, kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies. it up! This, it's fake, a prop, or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. Oh, oh, it's real, it's fucking real. I told you, this was all too much. Let's get out of here. came through his lock too. Do mad. You wanna play around? Get out here. Right now. Let's fucking play. Shit. number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. 
Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier MO. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. That would have created a lot of noise and mess. This guy is learning.
Praise the Lord. It's real. This is going to be the best cigarette of your life. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah! <laughs> 